TV KPM. Oh. Sean, Sean, are we on the right track, Sean? Mm, yep, we are almost there. Just Ayah. almost there. Just a okay, few meters. All right. <laughs> What's that sound? What's that, Sean? <gasps> Sean, 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 come here, Sean. Oh no! Look what I found, Sean. Oh no! What happened? This tiger is badly injured. Oh no. Sean, tiger is one of the endangered animals that people do this to him. Oh, what should we do? Yeah, what shall we do? Everyone, you are now watching Level 1 or Tahap Satu on Dita TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, as your host. And for today, our lesson is English Year 3 together with Mr. Carl. Hi, Hi Mr. Carl. Hello, Sean. How are you doing today? Great. All right. And we also like to introduce our sign language interpreter of the day, which is Mr. Bukori. Hi. How are you today? Wonderful. Mm. All right, back to Mr. Carl. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Carl, I believe that it's not just the two of us in studio. We also have a couple of pupils who will be joining us online. Let's see who they are. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. Okay, so Sean, mm -hmm. let me introduce all of them. Okay. So the first one, please welcome Ade Abdullah Wafiq bin Azaruddin from SK Jeram Batu Doplo. Hello, Hi. Ade Wafiq. Hello. Hi. All right, next. We have got Adik Hada Sofia binti Muhammad Faizal from SK Puncha Alam Dua. Hello, Hana. Hi. 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 Next, Sean, we mm -hmm. have got Muhammad Khairul Muaz Mursi bin Khairul Nazmi from SK Sungai Binjai. Hello, Hi. Muaz. Hi. Hi. And last but not least, we have got Ade Nur Alisha Safia binti Muhammad Khairul Anwar from SK Bandar Baru Kuala Selangor. Hi. Hello. Hello, Alisha. Yeah, look at their moms there. Yes. Gorgeous. Hello, everyone. So, looks like everyone is excited to begin. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Yes, Sean. All we right. shall begin. So, Sean, mm -hmm. the topic for today is save our endangered animals oh. all right save our endangered animals so mm -hmm. that's why in the studio mm -hmm. we have got five animals with us today mm -hmm. all right so first thing first okay since today we're going to do few writing activities with all the pupils all right not just in the google meet but all the pupils who are watching us on television, right? Mm -hmm. So first thing first, I guess it's better for me to explain first what is the meaning of the word endangered animal. Uh -huh. ah. So boys and girls, it refers to animal that is close to extinction. Oh. When we talk about extinction, mm -hmm. one example of animal that is already extinct is Dinosaur. Yes, that's right. Yeah. The dinosaurs are no longer around, yeah. right? So these five animals mm -hmm. are among those endangered animals. Oh. So first thing first, we have forgot the tiger. Alright? Mm -hmm. The tiger. Please repeat after me, everyone, in the Google Meet and also at home. The tiger. Next, we have got orangutan. Mm -hmm. Orangutan. Next. Look at the picture. It's a rhino. rhino. It's a rhino. Okay, the next endangered animal is turtle. Turtle. And last but not least, it's a pangolin. Pangolin. Okay, 
I believe maybe few animals are new to all of you, mm -hmm. right? So all of them are here in front of us. So boys and girls, all right, by using all these five animals, we are going to learn to describe the animals by using some suitable adjectives. Okay. Okay, Sean? Yes. So I'm going to compare at least two animals and using the same adjective to describe them. Okay, so the first two are pangolins and also tigers. In terms of their movement, oh. pangolins are fast, but tigers are faster. Ah. Ah, we're talking about their movement. So yes. pangolins are fast, yes, mm -hmm. but tigers are faster. Okay, next one. I'm going to compare between orangutans and also rhinos. Okay. So we're talking about their size, Sean. Mm -hmm. So orangutans are big, but rhinos are bigger. Wow. All right, in terms of their body size. Okay. And next, I'm going to compare rhinos with turtles. All right, rhinos with turtles. So again, in terms of their movement, rhinos are slow. All right, it moves slow, a mm -hmm. bit slow, but turtles are slower. <laughs> okay? Okay. Okay, let's do the last one. I'm going to compare between orangutans and also rhinos again. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of their weight, Mm. Mm. Orangutans are heavy, but rhinos are heavy. Uh, Alright, okay. yes. so I've used quite a number of adjectives to compare the animals here. Okay. Okay, let's have the first activity with the kids. Mm -hmm. So boys and girls, are you ready? If you are ready, show us double thumbs up. Yeah! Show us double thumbs up so everyone is ready there. So, please get ready with your marker pen and also your A3 paper or your mini whiteboard, whatever you have with you. Mm -hmm. Not just them, but everyone that is watching us at home also. Please do this activity. So, we're going to have a quick spelling yeah. test. Okay? So, look at the picture on the slide. Mm, what animal is that? You can see the spelling is scrambled up. Oh. All right. So please tr uh, try to guess the correct spelling of that animal. Come on. We give them 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Okay. Ten. Shall we do? 9, Nine eight, 8, 7, seven 6, six five, 5, 4, 3, three 2, two one. 1. Who'd like to try? Raise up your hand. Hmm. Okay, I guess. Yeah, Muaz is ready. Muaz is ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, Muaz, turn on your mic and please try to spell the animal. Okay, go, Muaz. P A N G O L I N. Pangolin. P A N G O L I N. O L I N. Good job, yeah. Muaz. Yeah, you've got it right. Well so, done. Yep. Next one. Get ready, everyone. Okay, look at the picture. What uh -huh. animal is that? How to spell the name of this animal? Hmm. So you have the letters there. T E T L U R. That is like the lower. <laughs> okay. So hmm. ten, nine, nine eight. eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, look there. Another boy. Okay, let's try another boy down there. Wafik. Okay, Wafik, please spell the correct spelling of this animal. T. 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 U. R. T. L. E. What is that? Turtle, you've got it right. T U R T L E. Okay. Yeah. Another, another quick activity. You just okay. tell us, all right? Okay. So we're going to ask Hana. Hana, look at the slide. 
Hana, which animal is heavier? Pangolin or rhino, Hana? What do you think? Rhino. Rhino! Yes! Good job, well Hana! Done. Well done! And oh. another one to mm -hmm. Ade Alicia. Come on, Ade Alicia. Which animal is slower? Turtle or orangutan? Turtle. What do you think, Sean? I think that is the correct answer. Yes, that is the correct yeah. answer. Good job, everyone. Well done. And because they did a good job, did they, will they get any rewards? Yes, Sean. Please mm -hmm. reward them with one star stick each. Yes, I'll do that. So one yep. star for each person over here. Congratulations and well done. Done, everyone. And right now, we're going to take a short break. We'll be back to you after this, only on Didit TV, KPM. Don't go anywhere. TV KPM. Hello, you are now watching Level One on Didit TV KPM, where our subject for today is English Year Three, together with Mr. Carl. Yes, Sean. Thank you. All right. So, so what are we learning for this segment? All right, I call this segment as "What Say You." Oh. What say you? So in this segment, mm -hmm. all right, by using the animals, all these endangered animals plus another two endangered animals in Malaysia mm -hmm. which are tapir and also elephant I want all the pupils to try to construct sentences to compare two animals using any adjectives that they can see in front of us okay all right okay. so there are altogether 10 different adjectives okay so I want you to pick any animals that you like, mm -hmm. uh, be it pangolin, rhino, tiger, orangutan, turtle, tapir, elephant. So just compare two of them, okay, using the suitable adjectives. Okay, I guess we better do the first one. Okay. Just the model of the activity, Sean. Mm -hmm. All right, Sean. Yes. Mm. Okay, I pick one adjective for you, perhaps. Um, okay. Cute. Cute. Okay. Mm. So Look at this slide. Okay, to this is you. to compare, right? Hmm. Mm. All right. So, um, the elephant is cute, mm -hmm. but the turtle is cuter. All right. Okay. Uh -huh. That's what Abang Sean taught. Mm -hmm. He thought that uh, elephants are cute, mm -hmm. but turtles are cuter. Yes. All right. <laughs> so... Got it, boys and girls, everyone at home watching us. So please take your paper. Mm -hmm. You can write anywhere. Try to construct sentences using the adjective that you can see on the table. Ah, All right? Okay. okay. How many seconds should we give them? We give them quite some time. Okay, okay. okay. 30 minutes. Uh, 30 minutes, sorry. 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Okay, maybe we All can right. also form another sentence while they wait. Yeah. Another one, maybe we can use large. Large. Let okay. me try, let me try. Okay, sure. Let me try. Look at the animals. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh tiger is large, okay. but elephant is larger. Oh. Tigers are large. You can mm -hmm. so say uh, the animals in plural. Yep. Right? Tiger tigers are large, mm -hmm. but Elephants are larger. larger. Okay, let's see our friends, the pupils in Google Meet. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Are you ready? If you're ready, show us again. Doubles, thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, I see wow, 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 wow. They are ready. Yes. So let's start with Alicia. Alicia, okay, can you please show your sentence to the camera mm -hmm. and read it out aloud? 
Oh, okay. Orang utans are scary, but tigers are scarier. Orang utans are scary, but tigers are scarier. Good job, Alicia. Scary, scarier. All right, you use it correctly. Double thumbs up for you. Well done. Okay, next one. Let's hear from Alicia's neighbor there, Hana. All right, Hana, could you please share one sentence with us? Orang utan are tough, but tiger are tougher. Orang utan. Orang is very famous, yeah. Yeah, it's very popular. Orang utans are tough. Mm. But tigers are tougher. Okay, just imagine when they have a fight. Mm -hmm. Yes, you got it right. Yeah, we are well looking done. at how good you are constructing this sentence. All okay. right, so it's a correct sentence. Adi Hana, good job. Yeah. Okay, next, let's listen from Adi Wafik first. Mm -hmm. Okay, Adi Wafik, let's share mm. one sentence if you have got with you. Mm. Pangolins are small, but the turtles are smaller. Okay, so mm -hmm. Adiwafi used the adjectives small. Okay. So he compared between pangolins and turtles. So he said just now, pangolins are small, mm -hmm. but turtles are smaller. Okay, yes. let's imagine. Pangolin and turtle. Yeah, turtle could be smaller hmm. than pangolin. Could right? we also ask Wafik to show his sentence as oh, well? Oh, yes. Wafik, hmm? show us your sentence. We want to see. Oh, okay. Ah. Good. Wafik, don't forget to put a full stop hmm. right after the word smaller. Ah. Right? To show that okay. the end of your sentence. Okay, last but not least, let's hear from Ade Muaz. Okay, Ade Muaz, show us. Your sentence first, and then read it out loud. Lions are large, but elephants are larger. Lions are large, but elephants are larger. Though lions are not here actually, right? Since lion is not among the endangered animals in Malaysia, but it's okay. It's a good attempt by Adit Muaz. Yes. Lions are large, but Elephants are larger. larger. Right, in terms of their size. Okay, mm -hmm. I guess we shall go for another round yes. with them. Mm -hmm. Let them try to use the other adjectives that we have got in the studio. Okay, yes, who would like to go first? Raise up your hand. Anybody want to try Anyone will we'll share another sentence. One more sentence. Come on. Maybe we can give them uh, just a bit more time. Yeah, and we can also right, see what words are mm -hmm. not used just yet. So we have brave. I guess tough, done, large, done, scary, done. Cute. Um, we can use cute as well. Fat, tall, cute, tall. Maybe small. Mm, okay. okay. Just a quick oh. one, random one, Sean. Okay. I guess I'd like to call Alicia. Alicia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Alicia. 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 Uh, yeah. Okay, can you try to use the adjective small? Small. Compared to animals, mm -hmm. using the adjective small. Small and small. Okay, which animal do you think is small? And which one do you think is smaller than that animal that you think small? Okay, Alicia, can you please try? Okay, go. Um. Uh, pangolins are small, but turtles are smaller. Wow! wow. Good job! That's a quick one. Well pangolins done. are small, mm -hmm. but turtles are smaller. smaller. Give me five! Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Alicia! Okay, next. Mm -hmm. Maybe can we hear from another girl? Yeah. Hannah. Okay, Hannah. Maybe can we you can use... Tall? Tall. Maybe tall, yeah. yeah. Hana, which animal do you think is tall and which one is tall? Mm. Okay, look here, look here. For example, Haikal is tall. Mm -hmm. But when I'm standing next to Sean, Sean is taller. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Hana tried to use the animals that we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, go Hana. Elephants are tall. Okay. But, but 
Rhino are taller. Elephants are tall, but rhinos are taller. Maybe it's a really tall rhino <laughs> and a really small. Hundred years old rhino. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe because maybe? Hannah look at the slide, mm -hmm. and if she look at the slide, yeah, because the the, the size is quite similar, about the yeah. same, right? But mm. this is a good attempt. Yep. All right, a good attempt. Okay, yeah. maybe we can help Hannah. Maybe rhinos are tall, mm -hmm. but elephants are. Taller. Yes, All that's right. right. That's right. Good job. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we have another student? Maybe? Um, another I think pupil? we should give them a reward. We will give them a reward first. Yes, yes. through Sean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shall we give them each a star? Yep. They deserve right. one star stick each. All right. One for Alicia. Mm -hmm. One for Hannah. Yes. One for Wafi. Mm -hmm. And one for Mu. Ah. Well done, yeah. everyone! Good job. And because you did so well, all of you deserve a short break. We can take a short <laughs> break. Be back to you after this, only on Did It TV KPM. 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 And we are back on Didet TV KPM. You are now watching our well level one where our lesson is in English for year three. All right, Mr. Carl, shall we continue? Yeah, Sean, since we've been talking about a lot of animals, mm -hmm. do you want to share your favorite animal? Hmm, my favorite animal has to be the tiger right. because he is so tough but also looks so cuddly. Mm, nice. So, if you ask me, mm -hmm. what right. about you? Yeah. So, what's my favorite animal? Mm -hmm. Okay, it will be look there. I like sun bear because it's small and cute. Ah. All right. So, my favorite animal is actually the sun bear. So I guess let's ask uh, two of our friends. Okay. okay. Just a quick one. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite animal? Mm. Okay, Mu asked. What's your favorite animal, Mu asked? I like cat. I like cat. Okay, okay. good job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Many people love cats, right? They pet the cat. Okay, next one. Ade Wafi. What about you, Wafi? What's your favorite animal? I like elephant. Oh, I like Ooh. elephant. Why, Wafi? Why do you like an elephant? Because. Because, because it's. Because a big. Oh, because it's, it's big. big. All right, Sean. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about these endangered animals in Malaysia, I would like to know also mm -hmm. what are some of the ways to save our endangered animals in our country. Mm -hmm. Perhaps our friends, though they are just nine years old in year three, maybe they can give us some ideas, right, on how to save the endangered animals could you please write on your piece of paper or on your mini whiteboard please hmm what about you sean hmm what can, you can we do one? i think it's important in terms of education to educate the public creating awareness correct to create yeah. awareness because if we don't know how do we know Yes, 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 you got mm -hmm. it right. <laughs> yes. All okay, right. anyone ready with your suggestion? Okay, perhaps let's start with Ali Alisha. Ali Alisha, if you have got one, please share with us. Okay. Ah, she has got. What's that? 
Stop hunting. Stop yes, hunting. yes, yes. Stop hunting. Please yeah. stop hunting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stop making uh, whatever uh, clothes using the tiger skin. Yeah. Please stop. Good job, Adi Alisha. Next, can we hear perhaps from Adi Hana? Adi Hana, what do you think? One way to save the endangered animals. Don't cut trees and forests. Do not cut the trees and forests. Yes, mm -hmm. because that's their habitats. Yeah, that's where, where they want to live. They if live. you have cut all their trees. Yes. Okay, I guess that's all, Sean. Mm -hmm. All right. So well done to all of our pupils. But before we end our uh, lesson today, could you give us a short summary of what you have shared with us today? Okay, Sean. Basically, today we have introduced them to some endangered animals in mm -hmm. our country. Yeah. Right? Among them are rhinos, orangutans, pangolins, turtles, tapir, elephants, right? And we also have learned mm -hmm. on how to use adjectives to compare the animals. All right. right? For example, <laughs> if you want to compare two animals like between rhinos and orangutan, sorry. Mm -hmm. So in terms of their size, hmm, orangutans are big, but rhinos are bigger. Ah, I right. see. And what about the uh, overall performance of our pupils online? How well did they do? Amazingly, Sean, they did great job today. Yes. They participate actively mm -hmm. in all the activities. And I hope those who are watching us also, you also participate actively at home. All right. Well done, everyone. And if let's say those of you who are watching right now, if they were to get um, mm -hmm. If they want to get their materials from today's lesson or any enhancement exercises, from where can they get it? They can just browse through the Lima portal. The Lima KPM portal. Yes, the Lima okay. KPM portal. All right, thank you once again, Mr. Carl, for our lesson for today. Welcome. For those of you watching, hopefully it's been beneficial to all of you and we'll see you in our next classroom. But before that, I believe you have a song to sing for us? Yes. All right, let's sing together. All right. <coughs> Let's save our endangered animals. All right, let's sing together. Everyone, let's sing together one more time. 